Lights, catwalk, curves. A fashion event with a difference, poised to celebrate the African woman's body. While Africa's fashion industry is said to be worth billions of dollars, the plus size scene is largely neglected, but the market size could present an opportunity. I feel as if it's time for the plus size woman to be celebrated in their own unique way. There is a market for plus size fashion in Nigeria and in Africa as a whole. Why wouldn't we want to cater to the majority, to the masses of the people? Still, many designers here see the plus size segment as high risk and expensive. To keep costs low, fashion designers at runway events like this one tend to use the same group of models to show off their work. Sizes are kept small, meaning that most of the women here struggle to get work. But some fashion designers are willing to take the risk. Majority of Nigerian women are actually on the slightly bigger side, so it makes sense to expand into you know, the plus size world plus. Most of my clients come asking for the existing designs in bigger sizes. So that's why we decided, okay, we're going to incorporate plus size and so sort of just balance out for both normal sizes and plus size. Some critics say that the industry sends out the wrong message. The World Health Organization estimates that 40% of the women in the world are overweight or obese. The plus size industry could be seen as glamorizing health issues. But for young models like Prez Olaye, who has just won a one-year contract at a plus size modeling agency in London, it's the start of a promising career. I lost hope at first because I was big and plus I were not actually appreciated in Africa. Then, thanks to this show, like, it actually brought all the plus size ladies to be proud of their body, it made them proud of their body and like, showed their pores, they are beautiful in their own way. A positive message that proves that beauty comes in all shapes and sizes. Didi Akinye Lure, BBC News, Lagos.